In this video, I will go over how to create a Galaxy Tumblr. There are a lot of different ways that you can create them, and this is the way that I have found that I like to do and that works for me. So you can tweak this or choose different ways to do it. Um, there is a lot of different ways. But I start with a black painted cup as my base, and then I do what I'm doing here in the video, which is I create some white areas and um, kind of just dot on some white paint. And the reason why I'm doing this is because if you just have black as your base, a lot of the colors that you're going to use that are shifting colors, you're not going to be able to get the true color of that glitter unless you have it on a white base or you're able to use uh, a ton of glitter to build it up to get to that color. So for areas that I like to have a white or um, you know lighter colors of glitter, I do go ahead and paint those areas white and also for like the stars like where there would be stars on a cup I put little dots of the white as well and that just helps bring out the colors of your glitter a little bit easier so um, that is what I do here to that's the reason why I'm doing the white paint on here I will note that it's good to have kind of an idea of what you want your cup to look like. So either a picture that you kind of want to make it similar to or a sketch that you've drawn out, something like that will give you a good idea for where to put your little white dots and how you want to lay out your cup as well. So I always either find a picture that I like or if the customer has a picture that they like, that's kind of what I do, which helps me to be able to kind of plan out my cup and how I want it to look. And once I get that, color on there, the um, white, then I go ahead and add my epoxy, which you see me doing here. So I'm just adding a very, very thin layer of epoxy. It's only going to be enough to add my glitter. And that's the only purpose of adding your epoxy is because you add your glitter onto it. So I just get a good, a good amount on there, but you want it to be very, very thin. Um, and that's this step. God of creation, there at the start, before the beginning of time. With no point of reference, you spoke to the dark and fleshed out the wonder of life. And as you speak, a hundred billion galaxies are born. In the vapor of your breath, the planets form. And if the stars amaze and worship so light, I can see your heart in it. Once I get my epoxy on there, I do use a heat gun just to make sure that it's completely smooth and just kind of heat it up a little bit so that it evens out. And then I, I do this on my turner um, and it's my manual turner. And the reason why I do that is because I feel like I have more control over my cup and the glitter placement uh, when I do it on a manual turner versus doing it on a rotisserie that's just constantly spinning. I can't stop it from spinning if it's on the rotisserie, but if I need to go back or move my glitter or change where it's going, if I have it on my manual turner, I can do that because I can just turn it how I want it and apply it like that. The next step in the process is to add your glitter. And I just pick out the colors that I want and kind of uh, apply those to those white areas first. 
and get the effect that I want. One thing that's good to note when you're picking your colors that you're going to use is to know what the shifting colors are. So a lot of different colors will have a gold shift. So if you're applying a lot of the same colors that have the same shift, you're not going to get much difference um, in depth in your galaxy, like the actual way it looks. So you would want to use different colors that have different kinds of shifts. That way it'll give you more uh, variety in your colors and the way that it looks when you get your glitter applied. Every burning star If creation sings your praises, so will I. God of your promise, you don't speak in vain. Another thing to remember as you're applying your glitter is that as you add more and more glitter, the color will come out more. And like I said, with the reason why I do the white behind it is because I want to use more of a light or white colors along those areas, or it's a hard color to actually get the full effect on. So I use those in the white areas. Um, but if you do apply more glitter, uh, your epoxy will soak it up. So depending upon the look that you're going for, uh, you can just continue to add more glitter until you get that full color that you want in those areas. And that's what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of going through and adding. I had a galaxy kind of area that I wanted to have as well as um, a nebula that I wanted that had a a very white center and that was why I painted the white beforehand and then I added the glitter on top of it. I do um, want to make sure that my paintbrush strokes aren't really seen and so I always add enough glitter so that you can't really see too much of the actual paint because I want to see the, the glitter and the sparkle. I don't want to see the actual paint strokes of my brush. So I continue to add glitter in those spots until I get it completely covered and um, that helps with it. Um, this color that I'm using here is a good one for galaxies because it has a lot of different colors in it as well as some little holographic flux. And so I wanted to give more dimension to the black areas of my tumbler and not just have them be a simple black and I used this, uh, this glitter to give it just a little bit of sparkle and a little bit of extra dimension. I did want to add those four point stars to give it some extra sparkle so I just kind of um, dropped a few on top of there and then I also went through and on my little white 
spots that I have from the paint that I did, I added those individually just to make sure that um, the, they went in like the specific spot that I wanted them to go. So that was also something that I did just to add it, uh, an extra little effect for the galaxy. Once I get my glittering completely done, then I do let it cure. And once it's cured, then I do add a sealer. And you can use any clear sealer. I've used the Rust-Oleum 2X um, gloss coat. You can use the, um, I think I used the acrylic sealer. I think those are ones you can also use. But I always use one of those once I'm done, just to make sure that after I apply my epoxy that none of my uh, galaxy parts shift around. So I do seal it and then I add my epoxy. Chase down my heart through all of my failure and pride. On a hill you created, the light of the world, abandoned in darkness to die. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Drop me a comment if you have any questions.